Hey, poets, it's Mrs. Holbrook. I'm so excited to do a little more poetry with you. We're going to be doing something pretty cool this week. We're going to be really playing with language. And what I mean by that is sometimes we're going to say that things are something even though they aren't really that thing. I'll show you what I mean. Let me start out by reading this poem, Clouds. It's by Christina G. Rossetti. So we're going to hear two poems, and there's some really descriptive words in this poem. Close your eyes and really picture it while I read. Are you ready? Okay. Clouds. White sheep, white sheep, on a blue hill. When the wind stops, you all stand still. When the wind blows, you walk away slow. White sheep, white sheep, where do you go? All right, do you see what I mean? What is this poem all about? It's about clouds. Were you able to picture those clouds in your head? All right, let me read it again and let's talk about it. White sheep, white sheep on a blue hill. Wait a second, why is it talking about sheep now? Oh, it doesn't really mean sheep. It's kind of saying that the clouds look like a bunch of white sheep. But what's the blue hill? Oh, the sky. Okay, so the sky is like this blue hill with these white sheep. And then the wind stops and they all stand still. How do clouds stand? Oh, yeah, because the wind blows them and they move. So it's saying that then the wind stops and the clouds just freeze. The wind blows. You walk away slow. Do clouds really walk? No, it just means they move slowly. White sheep, white sheep, where do you go? Because sometimes the clouds then just leave the sky, right? Yeah. So what is this poem about, clouds or sheep? It's definitely about clouds. The poet just used all these other words to describe the clouds to help you understand what it looks like. Okay. So we're going to do one more poem, and the poet does the same thing. Check it out. This poem is called Rain Poem by Elizabeth Coatsworth. Let's see if it's really about rain. Ready? The rain was like a little mouse, quiet, small, and gray. It pattered all around the house, and then it went away. It did not come, I understand, indoors at all, until it found an open window and left tracks across the sill. What's this poem about, guys? It's about the rain or is it about the mouse? It's about the rain. It's saying that the rain was like the mouse because it's quiet. It was small rain, so I guess it wasn't a lot, and it was gray, kind of like a stormy gloomy day and it pattered all around the house and then it left so the rain came and then it left like sometimes a mouse comes and goes but it didn't go inside until someone left a little bit of window open and there was a little bit of rain on the on the windowsill the bottom part of the window so we have a word for this we call these similes and metaphors and you'll learn more about that when you get older but it just means that you talk about something as if it is something else. So I want you to try to help me start to write a rain poem, and then your job is going to be to finish one, okay? So here's what we're going to do. It says, let's write a rain poem together. We can ask ourselves, what does rain look like? What does rain sound like? And what words can we use to describe the rain? So I'm going to pretend that this, let me make this a little smaller here. And you should go grab your notebook because we're going to start this poem together, but then you are going to finish it on your own. So you can actually copy what we write together right into your notebook. So over here is kind of like it's my little notebook page, okay? All right. <clears throat> So we're going to start the poem by just writing rain. And here's our first line. We're going to start like the last poet did. She said, rain, the rain is like, and she compared it to a mouse. What else could we say rain is like? I'm thinking, what if it's like a big storm and the rain's coming down fast? 
maybe rain is like a a car on the highway zooming or rain is like a waterfall what else like a shower um what about another description when it's just raining like softly what else is something that, oh, like a dancer let's do that rain is like a dancer and now i gotta kind of say how well how is rain like a dancer or you could say it's like a curtain because it just takes up all the space um let's come up with some more ideas okay. so now we have to kind of say why the rain is like a dancer so i'm picturing that the rain is like a dancer because sometimes a dancer taps her feet fast or sometimes a dancer is like gliding through the sky. So I'm gonna say both. The rain is like a dancer um, who is tapping his feet so fast. Click, clack, click, clack. What else can I say? I can say that I said what it sounds like. I said, um, maybe we can describe how it moves. Then, all of a sudden, the dancer slows down, drip, drop, drip, drop. Okay, so I invite you to either copy my poem that you just helped me with and write a little more about how it's a dancer. Or if you don't like writing about the rain being like a dancer, if that's not a good idea for you, here's some other ideas. The rain is like, maybe you want to write, the rain is like um, candy drops. You know those little candies that have all those little spots? Or maybe you want to say, um, we said it's like a waterfall. Or maybe you want to say the rain is like falling stars shooting in the sky. Um, maybe like music. Maybe it kind of sounds like a band when the rain is coming down and there's music on because it's so loud. Okay, that's up to you. You can either do mine with the dancer and add a little bit more or pick a new one. And that's your job today. Write a poem about what the rain is like. Have fun writing.